Hey everybody, it's Jen. How are you doing today? Um, I have had this message building for a few days and I just wanted to come on really quick to <laughs> come talk to you guys about it. So May has been really interesting and I have a lot of notes. So just so you guys know, if you see me looking down or whatever, it's I, I have like pages and pages of notes right now um, just for what's coming on in May. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, oh, lots, you guys. May 7th, let's see. Today is May 4th, so we're probably already feeling it right now. We always feel the full moons. Well, any really, any of the, astro uh, any of the astrology or astrological events that we have happening, we're going to feel it on both sides. So there's always like three or four days before the full moon and three or four days after that you feel the energy of the full moon. Um, and the same with anything else, like the retrogrades, um, the changing signs of the planets, like depending on how sensitive you are to the energy. The one thing that I've noticed for myself personally in the last few months is I used to always be really full moon sensitive, but it's really weird because like the last four or five months I've been more new moon sensitive. So like I'm sleeping straight through the full moons, but the new moons are messing with me big time. <laughs> So just trust yourself and however you're feeling whenever you're doing this. Now, for those of you that are new, I just want to tell you the one thing that I always tell people is if the moon can move the tides, right? Like we know when there's a full moon, it moves the oceans. Um, we're mostly made of water. So, so you better believe we're going to feel it too. So for people that don't think that that's a thing, I always laugh and just say, you know what, talk to a teacher or a doctor and I can guarantee you or somebody that works in the emergency room, right? Um, jails my brother used to work in the jail and he's like people are crazy when it's during the full moon so any of those events are going to affect us because just taking any of the woo woo stuff out of it and just looking at things scientifically we're made as a galaxy and everything works together right all of the planets have a magnetic pull and especially the earth does too because that's what gravity is is a magnetic pull right there's so much going on right now between the Schumann resonance, which you can look on NASA or you can look on like the earth government, whatever they, they calculate these things and they measure them. So it's a measurable scientific thing. So you can look at the, um, I think I actually shared it in the group. I think in this group, let me, let me double check. Oops. I just clicked into the challenge group. I don't want that. I want this one. Um, I believe in this group, I have it like marked under resources. Let me just double check. So if you go into the group and you go to units, I think I did, if not, I will do it later, but I think I actually put quick tips. Okay. Maybe I did not, maybe I haven't put that in there yet under resources, but that's a really good resource to have. Um, so I'll look and see if there's, uh, if it's in there. I know I've shared it in the group. Um, so just, just saying, oh my God, I'm seeing somebody saying as a mom, yes, you can tell, right? You can totally tell when I did daycare. Oh my God, I could always tell when it was a full moon, even if I wasn't looking at the calendar, because I'd be like, what is going on with these children? So you guys, here's the deal. This is so important. I was, I'm creating this post for Patreon members. Okay. Now I've told you guys, Patreon is five bucks a month. You can go online and get it online. You can download it as an app on your phone. There's only a few more spots. I want to say like 19 or 20 spots of just five bucks a month. After that, when those spots are filled, it will be $15 a month for the exact same content. So if you've been thinking about Patreon, I would go get it now before that fills up. That being said, it's so important. I wanted to make sure to come in here in the group. So I'm going to give you guys like a quick overview. But for those of you, I see a few of you on here that are on Patreon. As soon as I can get it in today, I will get it for you. But I've been literally working on this for three days. So um, I have a feeling it's going to be one of those longer messages. I'm going to try to keep it to under half an hour, but we'll see what happens because there's just so much going on. So the, the interesting thing is, um, like I said, this started coming through, I want to say on Saturday and I kept hearing, um, those of you guys that work with me a lot, you know, that I hear music and now my head's itching. So that's my guides are here because my guides always, I always feel them when they have something that they want me to say, I can feel them in my crown chakra. Like it tingles, like they're going, hello, pay attention. So, um, if you see me scratch my head, I apologize. Nothing's wrong with my head. I just, um, they're, they're talking to me as I'm doing this, this, um, message. So, 
here's just a really quick list of everything we've got going on. May 7th is a full moon in Scorpio. Pluto um, started retrograde in April 25th. So, and that goes all the way through October. North node is going to be switching into Gemini. Um, Saturn is going to be going retrograde here soon. Jupiter is going to be going retrograde here soon. Venus is going to be going retrograde soon. So all of these planets are going to cause massive transformation. That's, I'm just going to call it massive transformation. I want to say a SHIT storm, but it can be good or bad based on how you decide to move through this. Now, those of you on Patreon, you know we've been talking about this for months. I actually had somebody that's signing up today for Patreon. So if you guys are new, this is actually going to be really good. And for those of you that have been there for a little bit, but you haven't gone through all of the posts, because you guys, I think there's like over a hundred and something posts in Patreon. I told the gal that's going to sign up today, go back down. It's five bucks a month. You guys, you'll never, you'll never be able to see that price because as soon as it's full at that price, um, my friends, my guides, everybody's been yelling at me to make it more expensive, but I know everybody's struggling. So I've been really reluctant to change the prices, but I finally capped it. So as soon as those $5 spots are open, it'll have to be $15 a month. Um, but what I told her to do is get a notebook and get a clean one. Like, I don't care if it's a notebook that you've used before, but take out the pages because you don't want anything old in there. So take out the pages, um, that have already been written on and start clean with a new fresh notebook. Now I like to do like purple, you know, when I'm channeling, I do purple. Sometimes if it's a healing meditation, I channel with green ink. So like I have all kinds of ink pens that are different colors. You don't have to do that, but it could be a pencil if you want. It doesn't matter. But I like to specifically, like I know when I'm channeling from crown chakra, I get purple. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always get a purple pen. But when it's a healing meditation, I use green. And I remember in the Mary Magdalene video too, I had to get a blue pen. Like the, I just had to, I had to search until I found a blue pen before I could bring the message through. So it shows that colors, colors, the idea of healing with green makes sense. And you know what I mean? The chakras all have colors too. That's kind of besides the point. So the song that my guides were giving me Saturday morning was True Colors by Cindy Lauper. And so I was like, okay, this is interesting. And it's that the true colors come shining through. Well, then I started looking at this and when I wrote my, on the first, which was last week, um, you guys, pretty much everything I bring to you is channeled because I don't just do this on my own. It's whatever my guides are telling me to do. Okay. So when I titled that the other day, it was eyes wide open or eyes wide shut. Totally up to you. You get to choose. Do you want to go through this next like six months of hardcore transformation with your eyes wide open, searching for spiritual truth or not? And it's okay either way. Like you get to choose either way. But they've been telling me this on Patreon. We've been hearing this for months. So some of you guys are going to be like, yeah, yeah, you keep saying that. I'm telling you, there's going to be almost as if we're living two realities in the same time, not us personally, but as a collective. And I already see this a little bit with the pandemic going on with the COVID because like some people are totally freaking out and won't leave their house and they always have a mask on and whatever, and they're struggling and everything else. And then there's the other side of the coin where it's like, it's not even really affecting anybody. You know what I mean? Like, so there's these two, two polar opposites. And that was the other thing I wrote down is I wrote two realities and polarizing. And you guys, it has like circles around it, circles around it. And it's starred like it has, it's that it's going to be that dramatic. And I've also said this on Patreon too. We have to allow everybody to experience their lifetime, however they want to experience. It's really, really time you guys for personal responsibility. So again, on Patreon, you've been hearing me talk about my guide saying we have to break the dysfunctional human condition. And you've been hearing me say that it's all about radical responsibility, meaning we're taking responsibility for everything in our life, no matter good, bad, ugly, sideways, wonderful, fantastic, terrible, somebody did it to me, doesn't matter. Like somebody did that to you. The only way to, to, to help heal it is to take full responsibility and say, yes, this happened. And I'm not going to let it affect me anymore. I'm going to forgive it. I'm going to move on. I'm go whatever you need to do, right? There's always forgiveness work when it's something like that. But you're either the victim of circumstances or you can see the circumstances are happening. And so you decide to be in your power and do the best you can given what's happening, right? So 
so with this pandemic, you, you can do the best thing that you can. You can only do what you can do in this situation, right? So you can bitch and moan, or you can take it as an opportunity to, you know, if you're, if you normally are busy and you're working or working all the time, and now you're not, instead of bitching and moaning, (laughs) go ahead and take it as an opportunity and like, I don't know, do the to-do list that you've been putting off for, you know, 100 years or whatever, because we all know that we do that, right? I've actually, I've actually reorganized some cabinets and stuff that just didn't, it needed to be done, but it didn't really need to be done. So it was like one of those things you put off until you have time and we have plenty of time. So the other thing I want to talk to you guys right now about is foundations are crumbling. Now I've been saying this for two years. This actually came to me two years ago, but when I was writing this down again, it sa- it says foundations crumble. So I'm hearing true colors are shining through, eyes wide open, all of these retrogrades, which are about like Saturn is the truth teller. Like it, it's known as the great teacher. And you guys know that I'm taking astrology training too. So I'm kind of What I've been noticing is the more that I study astrology, the more I'm seeing exactly my guides are telling me exactly what's happening in the astrology without me knowing that it's actually astrology. So it's actually been really good for me just confirmation wise. But so what I'm doing is as I'm as I'm training in astrology, I'm finding ways to reinforce the messages that I'm getting. And so therefore... Um, I'm able to bring it to you with some reasons of and, and more detailed information of what's coming through. So here's some of the key things. Massive change and transformation. And I'm not just talking a little bit. I'm talking massive because like I said, big hitters in the astrology, Pluto, North Node, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus. All of those are going to be affecting us for the next few months. So huge. Now, in my January overview, um, you guys have seen that. And, and I posted that the other day, all of the, the things on that January overview that are making sense to me now. Again, you guys, when I bring these messages, sometimes like, okay, I don't know what, I don't know why I'm getting this, but this is what I'm getting. And I, and I just give you the messages authentically with what my guides are telling me in the moment. I see now everything that they told me in January. And I see now how that was literally, they've been preparing us for two years. So again, you guys, if you're new, I think I posted this this morning. If you're new to following me, or if you're new to seeing any of the work that I put out or whatever it is, um, even me, I've been going back through my own videos because when I channel the messages, sometimes I don't really remember what they say because it's not me talking. It's the information that I'm getting and I'm just telling you what my guides are saying. But I'm telling you from the last two years, we've been getting a massive heads up with what's going on right now. So really, you guys, if you, if you haven't watched those, um, go back and review them because there's so much in those videos. Um, the interesting thing is, too, as I looked at these planets, um, <laughs> it, it's you guys, it's, it's, we're being required to do something new. Like that's, that's the best way I can say it is we are being required to do something new. Oh, the other thing that I kept getting is that quote that if you do the same thing over and over again, you'll always get the same results. Like, I don't remember exactly how that saying goes, but like, we can't keep doing that. We have to break, we have to break the old habits, the old patterns, those kind of things. Um, when I looked at the the planets, this is an overhaul to not only our physical experience here on the planet, but our own personal way that we experience a planet. And I'm the root chakra, the crown chakra, the heart chakra, all in that. So they're going to be integrating everything. Um, and, and we've been talking about that a lot too, between the videos and in this community, the YouTube, and then also Patreon congruency between all of the chakras. We've got to get our, it's almost like we're moving out of mindset, which mindset can't be passed. We have to still always work on mindset, but we've got to learn to drop into the heart space, which is again, what we've been talking about a lot on Patreon. And you guys, part of the reason that I'm doing Patreon, just so that you know, it's not, the $5 isn't about the money. I mean, obviously if it was about me making money, it would be more than $5, but it's about the energy exchange So for those of you that are in here that have done any kind of energy work or any healing or readings or anything like that, you know that there has to be an energy exchange, exchange. (laughs) But the the thing that my guides um, have actually been saying lately is that it's not even, I mean, it's partly the energy exchange, but it's also about personal investment. Because if you're, it's like, 
it's showing that you're invested in learning to better for yourself because um, everything I do on Patreon is helping you dive deeper into your own spiritual practices, into your own spiritual knowledge, into your own sp- spiritual awakening, like whatever, any of those kind of things that you that you want to talk about. So again, it's not about the money on Patreon. It's about helping you learn, but you have to also be invested in learning. So that's what my guides are saying. Um, and they're calling everybody to wake up because the other thing that they said whenever um, I first started the Patreon channel, and I think it's almost actually been a year. So you guys, if you sign up now, you get all of that past content. It doesn't start from scratch. Like you get everything that I've posted up till now. Um, and what they're saying is that when I started that channel, it was for those who have ears to hear. So it's only for the people that really want to learn and really want to grow so that I'm not just wasting my time bringing messages to people that really don't care or don't want to see it. Okay. So again, this is all about, um, looking at personal responsibility. The other thing too, that's really interesting is Saturn retrograde retrograde is going to be in Capricorn. Um, Capricorn is always reserved and neutral. Like it's, it's not about, it's just like, it's not getting emotional. It's just getting like reserved and neutral. Okay. What are the traditional foundations that you have? What are your personal traditional values that you have? And not really letting go of those, but learning how to restructure them for the new energy. Okay. And it, especially with Capricorn, it's about if you're really satisfied with your daily life, like the daily things that you have to do. So again, you guys, lots coming through. Um, I just wanted to come in and highlight that Pluto retrograde, North node in Gemini, Saturn retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, Venus retrograde, all of that's going to be coming, um, within, I mean, the next couple of weeks. So there's, again, Pluto started in April, May 7th is the Scorpio, um, full moon. You guys, this is huge transformation and something's going to be revealed. Not only, so this is all about eyes wide open, meaning revealing hidden truths because we're talking Pluto. Um, I need to look and see where Neptune is. And I know there's something going on there too. So I need to find out where that is. Um, I will bring that through for sure in the Patreon reading, but I just wanted to give everybody a heads up so that you guys know this is huge transformation personally. Um, with it being Scorpio, you guys remember Scorpio has a stinger and if you get stung, it's going to swell up, right? And it's almost like, okay, so what my guys are showing me right now is like, if you get stung, um, like with a bee sting, like a bee sting. Okay. So if you get stung with a bee sting, or if you get a splinter in your finger, it hurts when it goes in, but if you don't like take care of it, if you don't do something with it, it festers. And so they're saying, they're basically saying right now, you can either take time to look at everything in your life and figure out the best way to move forward or it's going to fester and then you're just going to have a mess. So just know that May, you guys, is a powerful, powerful month. And I don't think it's going to be just in May, but I feel like, I feel like there's going to be a new reality and I feel like some people are going to really be shaken, just especially based on the messages that I've gotten over the last couple of years and some of the things that my guides are bringing back into my awareness now, like, I've been, I've been drawn to a few of my own videos from two years ago on YouTube that I've watched for myself. And I mean, you're either going back to the two realities, either you're going to be ready to face it and you're going to be strong enough to do the personal work and the spiritual growth that you need to do through this time, or you're not. And it's okay. Again, it's a personal choice, right? Like you can either do the work and, and really make the most of this, or it's going to be really hard for you, especially if you're dead set stuck that you don't want to do anything different. So, um, again, you can do whichever you want, but foundations are going to crumble you guys. And I don't know how else to explain it, but that's really what's coming through. So just so you know, I wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, I will see you guys. Those of you that are on Patreon, look for the message later this afternoon. Um, because this is huge. I have, I have three pages of stuff, you guys, that I got to go through and I want to kind of organize it before I bring it through on Patreon. So I hope for everybody here on the Facebook group, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the group. Um, I like to give you highlights of what's going on. Uh, stay in communication here in the Facebook group because it's a great place to ask questions. It's a great place to get support from everybody else in the community. Um, nothing, nothing, no questions are off, um, 
no, no questions are blocked. We'll put it that way. This is a safe place to ask whatever it is you have to ask. Um, and no name calling, no putting people down. If you're asking an honest question, I am going to give you a heartfelt, honest answer. And if anybody, if I see anybody posting anything nasty, they'll get kicked out like that. Cause I'm not going to, we're just, we don't have time for any of that anymore. I, the, the anger and animosity that's happening out there is just ridiculous. So we're not going to deal with that in this group. So sending you guys lots of love. I don't think anybody in here would even do that anyway, but I just want to say that because I've had it happen on my personal stuff a little bit, but okay. Pluto retrograde, death and rebirth. Um, North node in Gemini. Gemini is about, um, communication, um, and two sides, right? Um, Saturn retro Saturn's the great teacher. You guys, there's going to be some big life lessons that you've got to face. Um, Jupiter retrograde. We're going to be looking at, um, if you're not authentic, there's going to be restrictions. So you better be ready to see things further from a higher vantage point. And then Venus, of course, is like heart chakra, how we love, how we love our life. Um, so again, it comes back to the little details of, are you living your life in a way that you actually love that you're living it? So sending you guys lots of love and I will talk to you all soon.